Welcome everyone to the Real Who Beans cast. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with a sleepy Scott. What's up, Scott? Hey all. All right, so last night around I guess 1 30 in the morning, I was about to go to bed. I sent a message to Scott. We got the episode titles and everything, but I was tired. I want you know, you guys in the UK are different than us. You get it. Uh-huh. You know yeah, what I'm six, saying? Not, I don't think people us. understand that. So um, as much as I want to do a cast like that late, when I'm tired, I'm tired. And I'm not going to look like death warmed over. You know, I mean, I understand that there's stuff to do with Doctor Who, but I did that that one time where I was in, like, my robe and everything, and I announced, like, Jenna Louise Coleman, and I looked like, you know, Night of the Living Dead. I was terrible. So, um, vanity purposes, <laughs> I was not in my right state of mind to do a cast last night. With looking like garbage, so now you're gonna get the news. And unfortunately, we're still a little groggy because it's early in the morning. I used to do these casts, but okay. So the episode one we know is called "The Woman Who Fell to Earth." And Scott, we got a synopsis. It says we don't get aliens in Sheffield, in a South Yorkshire city. Ryan Sinclair, Yasmin Khan, and Graham O'Brien are about to have their lives changed forever. As a mysterious woman, unable to remember her own name, falls from the night sky. Can they believe a word she says? And can she help solve the strange events taking place across the city? Guest starring Sharon D. Clark, Johnny Dixon, Samuel Oatley, written by Chris Chimno and directed by Jamie Childs. So, of course, we know that um, we got we had that title. Right, Scott? Uh-huh. And we know, yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah. she regeneration, uh, amnesia for a little bit. So, but they really, again, that's not anything that's groundbreaking. <laughs> Talk revealing. about. Yeah, it's not anything groundbreaking, revealing anything about anything. So that you could have missed and wouldn't have been a big deal. The one thing that we did get was episode two was called The Ghost Monument. Now, that is something, because we've got a different title, obviously. Let me give a synopsis. Still reeling from their first encounter, can the doctor and her new friend stay alive long enough in a hostile alien environment to solve the mystery of desolation? And just who are the Angstrom and Ipso? Ooh. Guess, yeah. Guest starring Sean, Sean Dooley, Susan Lynch, and Art Malik, written by Chris Chibnall and directed by Mark uh, Tone dare I. Um, so again, that is different. Mm-hmm. Uh, it looks like, of course, she gets her memories back. She's yeah. a doctor. They know she's a doctor. Uh, she probably has a TARDIS. They probably went to an alien world and then something went wrong. So that is the new thing, the nuance, the thing that we didn't get to talk about. Because again, we did know briefly about the opening episode. Yeah. Which when I say brief, I mean brief. I mean, there's no alien thing. There's no nothing. There's nothing. Yeah, just straightforward. Here's the doctor, and here's the episode, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So you're getting it, like, what, nine hours later? Whatever it is, you got the news. I mean, I am ecstatic, but you can't tell because I just woke up. Yeah. And, you know, when you go to bed, like, 1.30, 2.30 in the morning, and you get up, you know, this is where you... <laughs> Well, we're doing this for you. Be happy. And- we're trying to fight the sleep. Right. So, Ghost Monument sounds very appealing. That's it sounds yeah. like something I would like. Same thing like the first episode, too. Mm-hmm. I think that, you know, I think it's going to be a new take and interesting that it's a female doctor, how she reacts to companions, what's going yeah. on with companions. The alien world thing, of course, boom, straight out of the gate, I'm happy about. I'm happy that they get to go to an alien planet, which is something everybody wants to see. But I'm saying just stay there in the damn episode. Instead of appearing five seconds or ten seconds and seeing a waterfall Mm -hmm. or some weird crap. Um, So that I'm beyond happy about. Uh, Wish we would have got a trailer. Didn't get a trailer. Now, uh, we did show the artwork last night. Which we're going to show it again. Uh, hopefully, I can put this in a thumbnail. But there you go. Beautiful artwork 
for Doctor Who Series 11. Um, finally, they're getting stuff right. I'm happy about this. No complaints. Scott, anything before you go? I was trying to look for that same thing uh, last night, and I couldn't find it. Anything on the episodes? Who site? <laughs> yeah, anything on the episodes? So far, they sound good, and so long as they stay good, I'm I'm happy. Yeah. All right. So here's the thing: we also got the uh, Captain Marvel trailer, which we'll probably talk about tonight later because it's too early. But I did love it. By the way, it's great. I don't know if okay. I'm sure it's got. It's I'm fantastic. But that was good. But anyway, back to Doctor Who. Um, yeah, so we'll be back later tonight, I guess. Or maybe in the uh, afternoon. I don't know. Later. Yeah, you got to work, right? Nope, I don't have to go back till tomorrow. Oh, so then maybe when you wake up, we could do stuff. All right. Meaning we're, we're up, but we got to really get Yeah, up. we got to first get our... Like, it's called breakfast and coffee. And that's what we need. And then we can talk about Doctor Who to our heart's content. Yep. So... Uh, I do plan on doing multiple casts. I love the artwork once again. Um, I mean, Scott would be back in a bit. Oh, yes. That, uh, I have to say that it was awesome looking artwork. Yes. All right, guys. Take care. Bye for now.